Hello everybody, welcome to the IMIT YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. We are cracking on with our uh, Microsoft Cloud VDI series and we've got about another four episodes. This is episode 10 within the Windows 365 sort of subtopic. Um, with, this, with this sort of Microsoft VDI series, I broke it down to three areas, three solutions. First of all, it was um, Deadbox, which we've already cop done that. I'll, I'll put a link in the, the description. We then focus on Windows 365. Now we're going to finish off with AVD, which was the original sort of cloud VDI uh, sort of product for Microsoft. Um, and we're doing this, you know, doing the theory and demos. Um, less demos coming up now because coming towards the end of this topic, uh, we're doing more sort of. Um, we do have a demo today, but we're doing kind of less less demo. So without further ado, let's get started to today's uh, video. So as I mentioned, this is a Microsoft Cloud VDI series, um, and today we're going to start start talking about Windows 365 security guidance and guidelines. Uh, specifically we're going to talk about Windows 365 security best practices and then we're going to do a demo of deploying security baselines for Windows 365. Uh, so we are talking about best practices, there's a number of best practices I want to go through. First of all, applying conditional access policies to control the device and apps that can connect to your email and company resources. You can use conditional access to secure access and users to Windows 365, specifically considering using, you know, ONTRA uh, MFA, for example, to authenticate users. You know, that's the most for me personally. Uh, another good, uh, you know, good best practice for, for Windows 365 security is to use Defender for Endpoint. We are going to be doing a demo in that in a couple of episodes time. Uh, and use that to identify threats and set devices as non-compliant if, if, they, if they kind of hit that alert. You can easily connect Defender for Endpoint to Cloud PC devices, apply device compliance policies to Cloud PCs and use conditional access to identify threats. Uh, another good, good secure best practice is to use in tune compliance policies with conditional access policies as well for, for Windows 365. These policies are going to help you identify non-compliant devices and users so they can't access corporate resources until that device risk level is, uh, is lowered to um, well, whatever your organization has set. And then at the bottom there we have um, OS patching. So one of the most important elements of device security is OS updates. These updates make sure that devices stay up to date and secure while delivering new features and defenses against uh, vulnerabilities. For Windows 65 Cloud PC, Endpoint Manager can be used by IT admins to configure Intune, Windows 10 and 11 update rings and policies for Windows Update for Business as well. Continuing on this topic, uh, best practices, we've got a few more to kind of talk about before we go into the demo. By default, Windows 365 Enterprise and end users are not administrators on their cloud PCs. Uh, and this policy aligns with the Windows 10 and Windows 11 sort of security guidelines, the best practices, so I'm, you know, needs to stay in place. Uh, Windows 365 integrates with Defender for Endpoint, as we mentioned, so security endpoint admins can work together to manage their cloud PC environment, just like they manage their sort of physical endpoints. If subscribed cloud PCs will send data through to the Microsoft 365 Secure Score, unhealthy PCs will show up on the Defender for Endpoint Security Center and Threat Analysis dashboards. Um, they'll respond to remediation measures just like any other managed device. And they'll support tamper protection management as well using Defender or, or Intune. And finally, uh, quite a bit more probably the newer security best practices I want to talk about is um, the integration with Purview. So Windows 365 fully integrates with Microsoft Purview. Onboarding to Defenders for Endpoint includes the Purview Endpoint uh, Data Loss Prevention or DLP. And DLP detects when sensitive items are used uh, and shared. And this is going to give you visibility and control uh, you need to make sure the data is used and protected properly. Um, it's going to help with that sort of prevent that risky behavior as well that might compromise them. Make sure you configure uh, endpoint DLP settings to prevent data from getting copied, for example, from Cloud PC, clipboard, um, drives to unauthorized devices, and also printed to, you know, blocks printing to unauthorized printers. Let's jump to the demo now. We're going to look at configuring security baselines for Windows 365, so please join me in the demo. Hello, welcome back to the demo portal, and we're going to look at security baselines specifically for Windows 365. So we're in Intune, we're in the Microsoft Intune Admin Center. Let's go to endpoint security. I'm going to go to security baselines, okay? And we've got multiple security baselines here. Once Windows 10 and later, Defender for Endpoint Security Baseline, Edge, uh, Windows 365, which is what we want to do. We'll go to that in a second. Advanced Security Baseline for HoloLens 2, Standard Security Baseline for HoloLens 2, and finally M365 Apps for Enterprise Security Baseline. So we want to go up here 
You see straight away the version is 24H1, so it's very up to date. Um, and we've got no profiles here, so we want to create a profile. Um, leave the, obviously you can't amend those anyway, so that's the default name. Let's create that, and that's going to let us um, put some, start putting some basic information in. Demo MT65. Profile. I will just put that in the description as well, just to be simple for the demo. Platform is obviously Windows. And here, configuration settings. Now, this is where we can start looking at different aspects of Windows 365. So, we've got local policy security options, um, the account, accounts limit, local admin use, uh, blank passwords, make sure that's enabled, interact, interactive logon machine interactivity. Uh, configure that. You've got interactive log on smart card removal. Got Microsoft Network client digitally signed communications all set to always. Microsoft Network client send on encrypted passwords to third party SMB servers. So, a lot of different aspects here. So, as we go down, you can see you can you need to spend a lot of time in here. I'm not going to go through every setting, obviously. But we've got local policy security options, we've got Windows Inc. workspace. Um, so these are all the baselines that we can configure uh, and these will correspond with sort of group policy and Intune as well. We've got visualization based technology, we've got user rights, we've got a configuration center for smart screen, for searching, for privacy, for edge, for the app store, for local security authority, for uh, landman workstation, firewall, the, the end user experience settings, DMA guard, device lock, device guard, defender, data protection, auditing and administrative templates hell of a lot to go through right i'm not going to go this will be about a two hour video for it through all these in detail but i suggest you take a look at these and this is you know as an organization um you know you should know what your security baselines are you should do these update these regularly um so once we've done that we can scope and tag it assign it review it and create it so i, I just kind of wanted to show you what the art of possible is when it comes to security baseline and where you can look at it for windows 365 in the demo um so by all means have a play with that um, you know, there might be some aspects of uh, the sort of security baseline that you as an organ your organization does that you think is important. Drop me a comment with, with what they are interested to hear back from people and what their security baselines include. Don't have to go into the nitty gritty detail, just an overview. Uh, a couple of, couple of comments would be great. Uh, so yeah, we're cracking on. Well, that was episode 10. I think we've got 14 altogether, so we've got three more, four more left. Uh, so thank you for joining me. Until next time, goodbye.